Theresa May accused of cronyism and weakness after handing honors to influential Tories. Mrs. May has also been criticized for the move after signaling that she wanted to take a stand against handing out honors to party cronies. Her promise came after David Cameron was heavily criticized for handing out honors to 46 former aides, donors and senior Remain campaigners as his last act as prime minister. The support of the 1922 committee is reportedly vital for Mrs. May if she wishes to fulfill her promise to serve a full five-year term as Tory leader. Graham Brady, the committee's chairman, and Jeffrey Clifton Brown, the honorary treasurer, have been knighted. Meanwhile, committee vice chairman Cheryl Gilland has been made a dame. All three backed leave in the EU referendum, as did a fourth Conservative MP to be honored, veteran former Minister Christopher Chope. There were no honors for Tory donors or aides who quit Mrs. May's office after the 2017 general election. One Labour MP criticized Mrs. May for the move and claimed the awarding of the honors displayed the weakness of her position in the party. The MP said, we could end up with a record number of gongs handed out. We could see even more handed out than under David Cameron. She wants to go for the moral high ground and now she is back in the traditional gutter of politics. Former Yuki pleader Nigel Farage said, it's services to the establishment in a sense. But I don't think it's a reward for Brexit, but a reward for work to the party. The government's priority is keeping the party together. In the Queen's New Year honours, other knighthoods will be given to Labour MP Mark Hendrick, Deputy Speaker Lindsay Hoyle MP and former Liberal Democrat Party leader Nick Clegg. Former Tory MP Edward Timpson and Joe Swinson, the Liberal Democrat Deputy Leader, both received CBEs. A knighthood will also be awarded to polling expert Professor John Curtis for his services to social sciences and politics. A number 10 spokesman defended the honors, saying, These honors are a recognition of years of dedicated public service, tireless commitment to their parliamentary duties and outstanding work on behalf of their constituents and the country at large.